Two candidates are gearing up for a special election for state Senate. Either Democrat Pam Iovino or Republican D. Raja will replace Guy Reschenthaler. Political editor John Delano takes a look at the candidates' negative attacks on each other. It's the latest negative political campaign. The race to represent the area's 37th senatorial district between Republican D. Raja and Democrat Pam Iovino. Have you seen this ad from D. Raja? It's flat out false. Liberal extremist Pam Iovino will say anything to get elected, even lie about Raja. If you believe these ads, you'd think both candidates are serial liars. I sat down with Raja and Iovino to get their response to the attacks. Iovino says Raja outsourced jobs as he built his computer software company. Do you outsource jobs in your company? So we have an international company of offices in here, offices in India and other locations. Less than 3% of my business is outside the U.S. Raja says when he started his company, he did hire foreigners on visas, but no longer. In the dot-com days, we augmented. There was a huge dearth of talent at that point. I just can't imagine there was not an American to hire for it, as high, whatever skill level it was. Iovino, a 22-year naval official, who though a Democrat was appointed Assistant Secretary of Veterans Affairs by President Bush, is called a liberal extremist by Raja. She says that's typical Republican playbook. An advertisement that comes out of the file for most Democrats, it's the first one that's run is to associate um, somebody with the Speaker of the House. Raja also charges Iovino with supporting late-term abortions. These personal, private, difficult decisions, and usually when we're talking about something that is um, that late-term, there is some um, extenuating um, issues of the survival, usually, of the mother. Um, I, I do not stand in judgment of a patient and a, and a health care provider. I'm pro-life. That's, that's where, I, where I stand. The real question is who's going to vote in a special election on April 2nd? There are about 190,000 voters in this district, but maybe only 40,000 are going to vote. Democrats are hoping that the enthusiasm of the 2018 election still continues. Republicans say don't count on it. John Delano, KDKA News.